Hey guys, so pardon the mess, but welcome back to another studio vlog, um, whatever convention prep sort of thing. I have yet to be sure if this um, video is going to be separate from the actual artist alley vlog. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> um, but we'll see, and if there's enough content, this will probably be its own video, um, and then the artist alley uh, video will be its own thing. So, yeah. Currently, let me move my cat here. <laughs> um, I'm working on some pins, so I decided I wanted to start doing shrinky dinks or shrink plastic pins. Um, I've got, uh, I don't remember how many different designs off the top of my head at the moment. Let me see. cat's back. I've got eight designs so far. So with that, I think I'm going to be making 10 of each design. Um, and excuse you. <laughs> I'll show the process, of course, of how I do that. Um, but I've got three chocobos so far. So yeah. All right, I'm checking back in because I just got a package in the mail. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a little unboxing sort of thing. I already know what it is, but I'm not gonna say it. So you guys have a fun little surprise. First box. Second box. So I got some UV resin and this is a little, uh, it's meant for like acrylics and nails because I guess they use a form of resin or like their nail solution uses UV rays. Um, but I'm just going to use it for trinky dinks and pins. Um, so let's open this up. So this is what the little light thingy looks like. There's a, these buttons are for seconds to do a little timer. These little things are all the lights here. Let me plug this in to show you. Cool. It did a thing. Oh, that's cool. I think it's, yeah, when it senses things. And then here's the resin. I think I got two. 
Oh, these are a lot bigger than I expected them to be. And to do a little progress check in for the progress of the Shrinky Dinks, um, I currently, I've just been doing the Chocobos. Um, I think I'm starting to streamline the process so it's going by a bit quicker. I'm sorry about the fucking car honking. I've got seven. And I'm planning on making 10 of each, so just three more of the chocobos and then I'm gonna move on to my next design. I don't really know how big these guys are gonna end up. I, I tested out one of my designs I have and I'm gonna refine this, I think. Um, but I did do a little turnip head here, um, but he turned out really, really small. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna use him as a little tester uh, to figure out how UV resin works and shit. I am checking back in because, oh my god, I finally finished, like, my to-do list of all the shit I gotta do, and uh, here, I'll just, I'll just show you, okay? And I've already gotten a couple of things done, but still, I just, uh. I have, like I said, a couple of things done, and I just finished probably, like, three out of the things I had to do. So, if you didn't know, I'm a student and currently going to art school. I have a part-time job and I'm also trying to bend all at the same time. And it's it's starting to get a little overwhelming, I can't lie, <laughs> considering dropping out. I'm joking, I won't, maybe. Anyway, um, so here are all my classes and this is my to-do list on top of fusion shit I gotta get done and a project I'm working on with somebody. So it, these all right here, our classes okay and at the beginning of the day i didn't have this done this done um and i didn't fill out fill out the print form anyway um so yeah i got a lot of shit to do and look i can i can scroll my cat just screamed at me so yeah <laughs> um oh kumo says hi she's she's being the emotional support that I need right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's ridiculous. And I'll, I'll, I'll pull through, but holy shit, is it just a lot. I, bleh, isn't that right? Um, so yeah, I'm working on one of my homework assignments right now, which is basically to do a drawing you've done before, but backwards is how my teacher described it. Um, so I'm doing this picture of Cloud that, oh, okay, cat, <laughs> she's in a very lovey-dovey mood right now, um, but do it backwards. So the way my process normally works is I'll do my sketch and then paint over that. So I think how I would be able to do it backwards is do all my flats and then, oh god, hi cat, put the lines over it and then render question mark or just like paint with no sketch at all and then the background since i normally always do the background last so yeah i don't know i just needed to vent in better news though um i got all my chocobos done i still have let's six other uh tricky things to make so that's definitely a thing um yeah i think i might get some breakfast um, cause it is a day later after the original footage. Um, I might get some breakfast, uh, and I have a pan to bake these in coming in the mail. Um, and if that comes early enough before I have work, um, I'll drink some of those to kind of keep my mind off of things. I got a good portion of my homework done, um, and I do have a, a hot minute before fusion actually happens, so. Hopefully I can get everything done in time, and I'm sure I will, but, yeah. Uh.
так. Hi, so I'm checking back in. It's been like a week and I haven't really gotten anything done. Um, I got furiously sick with the flu and then at the same time I injured my tailbone really bad just by sitting with really bad posture. So I bruised the shit out of it. Um, so yeah, I was kind of out of commission for a good week. And I'm finally starting to feel better. There's still some swelling in my tailbone, but I can actually walk and sit without pain. So that's nice. And I'm, it's just, it's nice to feel better. And I was really worried everything was going to go to shit because my birthday is next week. So, yeah. Um, I got my turnip heads done. Here, I'll show you. Okay. So, part of the mess, um, but here I've got all my turnip heads, so they just need to be baked and then resined up and put their pin backings on. I did also, and they're not in a very nice and pretty spot, um, get, like, <laughs> they're just kind of chilling here, uh, I got all my choppers done too, so this is how they turned out. Most of them turned out pretty, pretty good, I think, um. They were really detailed and just time consuming, so they took pretty, pretty long time. But they're done now and uh, they were probably the most intricate design, but they're so, I, I love how they, tur they turned out. They're just fucking funny. This picture is just funny in general. Um, but yeah, so obviously since they're handmade and they're colored in with colored pencil, it's really, they're nice looking like this. But if you put them under sunlight, which I don't know why you would, you can definitely tell there's some imperfections and that a human drew them. But um, I don't think that'll detest many people. But yeah, so I'm going to bake these soon and then I'm going to start working on um, more Shrinky Dinks. And I think the next one I'm going to do is Guts' of Sword. So that'll be fun. Oh, also, so I'm trying to get a bunch of prints done. Um, I'm back in bed. <laughs> uh, so I did, I had, what I had planned was to do a Reki and Longo print from Skate the Infinity, and I got those done, and I'll show you guys. And then I'm currently working, oh, there's my cat. She's on my lap now. Okay, hi, kitty. Um, I just got done with a ghetto print as well from Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'm going to be working on a Gojo print as well. I just need to start the Gojo print, and then those are all the prints I was hoping to have done by Fusion, so I'm pretty on top of it. Um, but what I did want to show you guys, give me one second, is, so some really exciting news is... 
I got invited to be a part of a stamp rally, actually. Um, sorry, this is really difficult for me to talk when there's a cat just smelling my face. <laughs> so, since Fusion is always really close to Halloween, um, Enrique Draws, the person who's putting the stamp rally together, uh, they decided to make it Halloween themed or just like spooky autumn fall themed, that sort of vibe, you know what I'm talking about. So everybody chose their own fandom or subject they de decided to make art for, and I did Sonic because I'm a fiend. And this is what I've got, again excuse the cat, um, but it's Shadow in a dark shell going trick or treating. Um, all I have to do now is render and shade it, and then I'll be done, but it's going to be available as a little mini print, and my mini prints are uh, 6 inches by 9 inches. Um, so, yeah, I've got that done. Let me show you. <clears throat> this is my recce that I got done. This is Langa. <laughs> um, and then I just finished Ghetto. And that's, that's the boy. So, I've been struggling to kind of find a good pose for Gojo, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, yeah, so that's the update on that. I also, my school is putting on a little Artist Alley event, and maybe I'll include that in here, because why not? It's just a one-day thing that um, I'm able to sell at, so yeah, that'll be exciting, and that's um, the 14th or the 15th, so, like, the week before, um, but that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, I'll check back in whenever I have something to update with. All right, so, I'm checking back in. It's been a minute, just like I said last time, but I've been trying to focus more on school instead of artist alley since I started to get a lot of the stuff done, um, but I got prints done. Ugh. And there's a lot of them in here. There's about 90 because there's multiple copies of each. And let me bring them out really quick. Alright, so I've got a Reki print, a Gojo print, a Longa print, a Dante print from Devil May Cry, a Ghetto print, and then this is um, my Shadow print. And it's gonna not be for sale like normally and obviously they're mini prints and I have to trim all of these hi so I totally forgot to record myself um, cutting these but I got all these done um, including the mini prints so I'll record myself packaging them up and then putting them in my little print box for you guys Okay, so, pardon my messy desk, I didn't, uh, clean up after doing shrinky dinks. Um, here is my portfolio book, and now that I have all these new prints, I gotta reorganize this, and I'm gonna push the older stuff back, um, like, yeah, like this stuff, it's a bit older. Aaron's still pretty popular, so I'll probably keep him up front. But, yeah, so I'll record me putting um, some of the, uh, one of each print in here, and then they're gonna end up going in this little box right here. Um, and this keeps, ugh, this shit's so heavy. This keeps all of my prints. Um, this is how I organize them. 
Uh, so it all has the names. It's basically just like a filing cabinet sort of deal. Um, but yeah. So they're gonna get tucked in here. I've got a good amount of space still. And then I don't think I'm gonna be really doing that many prints um, for a while because I don't wanna stock up on too much inventory. Um, I also did get some more shrinky dinks done, but I'll show that after I get done with the print stuff. Um, and then I also have to package um, one of each print. So two prints are gonna be taken away from their little sleeves, plastic sleeves. Um, one's going in the portfolio book and then the other is gonna get wrapped individually and sealed tightly. So I can, if I wanna use it for my backing display, I can use them. So yeah. So, I've run into a bit of an issue, as I'm sure you saw while I was reorganizing things. So, I am left with two of my prints out um, and not able to be put in my portfolio book, obviously. This cat, man. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, they're not... I wanted to prioritize like my 11 by 17s in the portfolio book and they're not fully 11 by 17s since these are some of the first prints I ever did. Um, but I think I'm for sure gonna make sure they're on the backdrop at least somewhere like Ido's gonna be with all my other Genshin characters and Yoru is normally always up there. Um, neither of these two are really that popular um, for items that I sell anyway. So it shouldn't be that big of an issue, but I definitely don't want to just make it a thing where they just never sell. Um, so maybe I'll make little signs for them uh, to try and encourage people to get more of them. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But um, I'm glad I finally got to fully complete my, prof my portfolio book. Um, so that's nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, I kind of adjust it, um, all the pages and stuff every time I'm at a convention to kind of gauge, like, especially from Friday to Saturday to see what's most popular. Um, but yeah, uh, dude, this cat. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably do that during Fusion. Um, but yeah. Um, I do have a small, like, school event before that that I'm going to be vending at, and I'll probably include some of that footage here, um, and just briefly say how I did at it and stuff, so, yeah, um, trying to think, oh, let me show you my shrinky dinks I made. Actually, I just remembered, so, what I've got going on here, and the I don't really feel like cooperating today, I guess. Okay, there they go. Um, is obviously I've kind of got them going in rows. They kind of vary in which way they go, but as long as it's visible. Um, so here I've got Ghetto. And obviously, um, I just take masking tape and write the name on. They hope I have masking tape laying around somewhere. If not, that'd be wildly inconvenient. But um, I can make it work. Uh, I think I can just do a paper. I'm just gonna make a label out of just these little note sheets I've got, or flashcards, I guess. And then I'm just gonna write their name, um, the character's name, and then just, I have packaging tape that you saw me fix my portfolio book up with, and then just use a little bit of that. So, yeah. I'll just record myself doing that, and then you guys can just kind of get an idea of how to organize prints. Because that was the biggest thing, is when I was doing research into um, organizing prints and whatnot, um, I realized, and this is kind of a large issue that I feel like not a lot of people talk about, 
maybe it's just because not a lot of like print heavy artists will vend and also make like artist alley videos about um is fucking storage storing everything um it's a lot more difficult than you think it'd be um and I'm trying to find workarounds that will work and not break the bank is definitely like you really you really feel alone in the process of everything um but i managed to kind of find that this technique works really well for me um yeah so essentially i the cart i'm using is a collapsible grocery cart that you can get and i just got it off of amazon i try to get everything collapsible because that makes things easier but so I'll, obviously if i can't find a workaround you just kind of got to make do with what you got. Um, but yeah, I've seen, because like a lot of people will just use the boxes that they outsource their prints from to just store everything. Except, as you might have saw, I don't know if, I don't think I showed it in this video at all. But I know for sure in my last video, um, I had a print bag because I get my prints done through my school because I go to art school and they don't ship them in boxes obviously I just go and pick them up and they're in just like little craft bags uh, just finding solutions and I hope me sharing them will be helpful um, to at least somebody because I know I was really struggling and frustrated over the fact that you literally just can't find a 12 by 18 box anywhere <laughs> which is so stupid or like they don't make accordion files that big and if they do they're just like ridiculously expensive and they're artist aimed so they are even more expensive because they realize oh this is a print size i'm sure an artist probably wants this for like a portfolio book or something so they upcharge the shit out of it I'm currently kind of ranting. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just talking about it helps. And like I said, I hope somebody will st stumble across this video who has gone, who has been wanting to do artist alley videos, and they want to mainly do print-based stuff. But there's really hard, like, storage solutions for that because. Um, poster sizes can just be really, really hard to store. And finding storage that actually fits them is a whole nother story. So, anyway, that was my little rant. Um, thanks for listening to that, I guess. Uh, let me finish up doing these name tags now. Okay, now I want to show you guys what I've got going on for Shrinky Games. Um, so I found this nice little storage container that's been proven to be very useful um, with just helping with everything. Um, I did get some pin backing cards printed out and I'm gonna go pick those up tomorrow for the actual pins, but this is working really well for the time being. And I'm hoping the cards can also just fit in this because that'll make organizing things a lot easier. If not, worst case scenario, I'll just punch the card um, at the con or whatever event I'm at. Um, but let me show you what I've been working with. So obviously you've already seen a couple of these. Let me grab my display one here. 
I often use bead rates uh, for displays just so I don't have to sell them to a customer. Um, and if I do sell a bead rate, I do, I do normally charge it at half price just because otherwise I feel kind of scummy doing that. But, so, here's Chopper. Um, his imperfections are just like resin issues and that's what a lot of these are. Um, like bubbles and whatnot. Um, I did make a GameCube controller. It turned out a bit more purple, but I didn't have a co-ed pencil that um, was the more indigo color I needed, so I just went with purple instead. Um, I finished up Turnip Head, and then my favorite, the Dreamcast controller with a little Sonic on it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the pin backing cards uh, once I get done. Um, I think them double-sided and hopefully they lined up properly and turned out okay. They should. My god, I hope so. But yeah, that's what we're working with here. Um, only other things I'm gonna do for tonight is I think I'm gonna set up all the new products on my Square app. Um, the selling terminal I use and most people use. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna add those prints. I've already got the pins in. I did that earlier today. Um, but I'll probably do that off camera just cause I don't think it's necessary to really record that. But um, yeah, I'll check back in when I have another update. So I got some prints done for my pin backings, which I think I mentioned I was gonna get done. Here's what they look like. And then they're also printed on my back. So yeah, I'm going to record myself cutting these and then putting the pins on.
so I've got all of my pins done um, and on their backing cards. The only issue I had during this um, was one of my GameCube um, backs actually broke. So the sharp part just kind of like fell off. Um, I don't know how well this will focus. You can kind of see how there's like a little line right there. Um, one of the GameCube controllers, it just like, the pointy part sort of just fell off, but that's okay. Um, so there's lower stock of the GameCube, uh, controllers, but I'm really glad with how they turned out. They're cute. Um, I am hoping that they fit in this container. Um, I'm pretty sure they will. It looks like they will. Yeah. So I'm gonna put these all in there and then... Once I have something else to, I don't know, talk about or do, um, I'll obviously put that in. But I'm definitely nearing the home stretch, which is relieving because this has been like, I don't know, such a lengthy process and lots of prep to do. And it just, it gets exhausting after a while on top of everything else. of my Sonic and Shadow Buttons, which is very unsurprising. Everybody loves them. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it picks up. Okay, so it's starting to pick up, which is really good. Um, and I've had about four different transactions so far. Um, yeah, I'm really excited with the prospect of how things were going since it was like completely dead at first. Um, I'll check back in if anything eventful happens. Hi. Hi. I like your haircut. Oh, I might have to get a separate one. Yeah. Do you want it sealed? Uh, no. Give me one second, please. Do you want it sealed? There you go. Thank, Thank you. So Got some impressive work here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just that, and you said you had cash? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so i forgot to do a chicken um it just sounded like i said chicken bro <laughs> i forgot to do a check-in but obviously um my little mini event at my school is over and um numbers weren't crazy but it was decent i guess for what it was and there was not being a whole lot of people but a 
quite a number of people got stuff. But yeah, Fusion is this coming weekend. And I think just because I've been edit editing this video kind of as I've been filming it, um, I'm probably gonna be doing two separate videos. Uh, hopefully if I get enough footage of Fusion, but we shall see. Uh, yeah. Actually, so this video is now at a whopping 43 minutes, which is my longest video ever so far. So, um, I'm probably just gonna end it here and just vlog whatever I can get done at Fusion. Um, hopefully it's not too too, like I don't procrastinate and forget, um, but it'll probably be shorter than this little studio vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was pretty fun to do, um, even though granted a lot of this was filmed during a very stressful period in my life and I don't know how I got through that, but that's besides the point. Um, hopefully I'll have the fusion vlog out pretty quickly after this, but we shall see. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, stick around if you want, like, follow, whatever, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, uh, see you in the fusion vlog. Bye-bye.